Dual Citizenship Explained What is dual citizenship? Dual citizenship, or dual nationality, means being a citizen of two countries at the same time, sharing the rights and responsibilities of the citizens of those countries. Not every country allows dual citizenship, and the rules are different from country to country. Does the United States allow dual citizenship? Short answer, yes. The U.S. government doesn't require naturalized U.S. citizens to give up their citizenship in their country of origin. The best summary of the U.S. government's position on dual citizenship lies in the Supreme Court opinion, which explains that a person may have and exercise rights of the nationality in two countries and be subject to the responsibility of both. But just because the U.S. allows dual citizenship doesn't necessarily mean your country of origin does too. Some countries, like China and India, will not recognize your status as a naturalized American on their soil. You may even lose your citizenship automatically in those countries if you become a U.S. citizen. In this video, we'll cover the rights and responsibilities of dual citizens in the United States, how to get dual citizenship, the dual citizenship rules of various countries, rights of dual citizens in the United States. You can work anywhere. You can apply for employment anywhere in the U.S. without getting a work visa first. You can travel without restrictions. You can travel outside the U.S. for as long as you want without any risk of losing your U.S. citizenship. And if you plan to stay outside of the United States for longer than a year, you won't need a re-entry permit in order to return, as is the case for green card holders, permanent residents. You can obtain green cards for your family, your parents, adult children, and siblings can apply for their own green cards. You can vote. You can vote in any U.S. election. In the United States, only citizens are allowed to vote in federal elections. You can attend school. You can enroll in a U.S. school without a student visa and without paying international student tuition rates. You can access public benefits if necessary. Assuming you meet eligible requirements, you can apply for public benefits including access to tuition assistance that's available only to U.S. citizens. Obligations of dual citizens in the United States. You must pay U.S. taxes for life. As a U.S. citizen, you must file and pay, if necessary, U.S. income and other taxes for life, even for income you earn outside of the United States, regardless of where you live. This means you can owe taxes on the same income to both the United States and your other country of citizenship. You must disclose any previous encounters with law enforcement. U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, officers who evaluate citizenship applications scrutinize applicants' backgrounds very heavily. Certain types of violations such as immigration fraud, drug abuse, or domestic violence could expose you to the possibility of deportation. You have to serve in the military if required by law. All males who have lived in the United States or receive a green card between the ages of 18 and 26, unless they have an immigration status other than green card holder, are required to register with the Selective Service System. In case of a war, a U.S. citizen must serve in the U.S. military in combat or otherwise if called upon to do so by the government. You must serve on a jury when summoned. Jury duty is mandatory for all U.S. citizens. How to get a dual citizenship. There is no application or form available to file for dual citizenship in the United States. Obtaining a dual citizenship simply means applying for a second citizenship. Before you apply for U.S. citizenship as your second citizenship status, it's crucial to contact the embassy or consulate of your country of origin to find out whether that country allows dual citizenship in the first place. Otherwise, you may lose your citizenship in that country without even knowing. When should I apply for dual citizenship? You can apply any time after meeting the eligible requirements for naturalization, which is usually three to five years after getting a green card. How long is the process? Filing your citizenship application with USCIS is only the first step of the process. Overall, naturalization can take up to 1.6 years depending on the USCIS field office that receives your application and how soon you start the process. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Boundless on YouTube. Thanks for watching.